How do you find the product of 78 times 34 using partial products? In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply multi-digit numbers by using partial products. Let's review several things. A product is a result when two numbers are multiplied. For example, 4 times 5 equals 20. 20 is the product or the answer to our multiplication problem. Multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition. We could add 32 5 times or we could simply say 32 times 5 and we would find answer and multiplication is much faster. It's also important to remember the powers of 10. If we multiply 36 by 10, we get 360. 360 is 10 times bigger than 36. 36 times 100 equals 3,600. Notice this time we added two zeros. 3,600 is 100 times bigger than 36. And 36 times 1,000 is 36,000. A common mistake many students make is multiplying each digit as if it represents a number of ones. It is important to remember the place value of each digit. If we look at the number 36 times 5, we know that the 3 and 36 is worth 30 and the 6 is worth 6. So we need to remember that it's not just 3 times 5 and 6 times 5, it's 30 times 5 and 6 times 5. Now let's multiply 78 times 34 using partial products. First of all, let's break apart 78 and we'll look at the value of each digit. The 7 becomes 70 and the 8 is worth a value of 8. So we have 70 plus 8. The number is now written in expanded form showing the value of each digit. 34 becomes 30 plus 4. Now we'll multiply the 70 times each of the digits in the next number. So we have 70 times 30 to equal 2100. If we think about our powers of 10, we know that 7 times 3 is 21 and we add our two zeros to create 2100. Now we multiply 70 times 4 to get 280. Again, 7 times 4 is 28 and we add our 0. Let's move to the next digit which would be 8 and we multiply 8 by the values of 34 which is a 30 plus 4. So we have 8 times 30 to get 240 and 8 times 4 to get 32. These are our partial products, our part of the final answer or partial part of the final product. We'll add these numbers together. We have 2,100, 280, 240, and 32 to get our final product of 2,652. 78 times 34 is 2,652. Now let's multiply 162 times 84 using partial products. Again, we'll break apart our number into its individual values. For example, we have 100 plus 60 plus 2. We have one group of 100, six tens, and two ones. And 84 becomes 80 plus 4. To get the final product, we first need to multiply 100 times 80 and times 4. So we will say 100 times 80 is 8,000. 1 times 8 is 8. And then we add our three zeros to create 8,000. 100 times 4 is 400 and now we'll move to 60. We'll multiply 60 by 80 and 4. So we have 60 times 80 is 4,800 because 6 times 8 is 48 and we add in the two zeros. We then multiply 60 times 4 to get 240. Now we move to the 2 and we multiply our 1's times 80 and 4. So we have 2 times 80 is 160. We know that 2 times 8 is 16. 
and we add in our zero to show that it's 10 times bigger than 16 to get 160 and then we have 2 times 4 is 8. We need to add our partial products together to get our final product. 8,000 plus 400 plus 4,800 plus 240 plus 160 plus 8 equals 13,608. 162 times 84 equals 13,608. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply multi-digit numbers by using partial products.